Hello everyone, my name is Ertegrul and I'd like to shortly present to you our approach for noise suppression that uses features of the sound textures which are our class of sounds that are usually encountered as noise in our normal acoustic environments. So what are the sound textures? These are a class of sounds that are composed of simpler acoustic events that occur repetitively and are not very variable in terms of their spectrotemporal structure. Think of a, the sound of the stream, uh, a train or a flock of geese. This category of sounds became an active field of research after the work done by uh, McDermott and Samicelli that showed that realistic textures can be created from white noise using a small set of statistical features. This model now allows us to control naturalistic noises experimentally, which is something that wasn't possible before. Our approach leverages sound textures in two main ways. First, we use the limited variability of the acoustic components to train our algorithm. And second, we evaluate general effectiveness of our method on various background noises that span a wide range of values in statistical space, instead of solely relying on pre-recorded clips. During the training stage, we create a library of spectrotemporal features of the background noise using a k-dimensional tree representation. We obtain this training data from the user in a supervised mode or extracted it automatically using voice activity detection. Then we find the best matching noise fragments uh, and subtracted it from the original mi mixture to yield clean signal. We then assess our method using metrics such as correlation to the original clean speech uh, or other uh, automatic ways of evaluating the sound quality in addition to running online experiments and all of these uh, metrics show that uh, we are able to remove the textural noise uh, effectively. Now the filtering methods that are to be used in devices like hearing aids need to be fast and computationally cheap. Uh, to see how our algorithm fares in this respect we varied its parameters and analyzed uh, the processing times and our findings indicate that Parameters required for optimal performance, shown with black dots here, allows our algorithm to run significantly faster than real time, which opens up the possibility to integrate it uh, to existing processing pipelines. So in conclusion, we think paying attention to and explaining features of what we commonly call noise is an effective avenue when it comes to developing noise suppression algorithms, and we propose a concrete method that achieves just that. Thank you for your attention and don't forget to tune into our presentation if you want to learn more about it.